Hello there, welcome to CXC Math TV. Today we will be looking at the introduction to geometry. So what is geometry? Well, geometry is going to involve the study of space and shapes. When we talk about space, we're talking about things like a point, a line, a ray. When we talk about shapes, we're going to talk about triangles, quadrilaterals, and other types of shapes. And so let's start with some definitions. First thing is a point. A point, you might see it as a dot marking position. And this dot doesn't really have any size. So we can put some dots here, A or the dot B or the dot C, right? Just some small points or some small dots. That's a point. A line. A line now is an infinite set of points of infinite length, meaning it continues forever. And it goes in both directions. A line, you're always going to see some arrows at the end indicating you know that it's just extending in both directions infinitely. Now there are two types of lines that we want to look at. We're going to look at parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Now parallel lines, these are two lines whose corresponding points are always equidistant apart. Or we might say two lines that are always going in the same direction or similar direction. So here's an example of line A, and this is an example of line B. If you look at the point at, on line A, and the point directly beneath it on point B, if you were to extend it, look at it, it's always going to be equally distant apart, in this case, 4 centimeters apart. Now, perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines, these are two lines which meet or intersect at right angles. So they intersect at a 90 degree angle and that's what we call perpendicular lines. Now there's a new type of line that we're going to be introduced to which is known as a transversal line. Hey! Now a transversal line is a line that crosses at least two other lines. So in these examples we're going to use the red line to ind indicate the transversal line. So here we have two lines, two black lines, and then we see the red line is a transversal line because it intersects those two other lines. Then, as we just said, there's also intersecting lines. When two or more lines cross each other at a point, they are called intersecting lines. So here we have a yellow line and an orange line, and they intersect at a common point. That, that point is known as the point of intersection. Now if you look at this image right here that pops up, P is the point of intersection, alright? And if you look at it, you have so many lines there, G, F, J, B, H, D, E, I, A, but they all intersect at one point. Hey! The next definition is a ray. A ray is a line with one end extending infinitely or indefinitely in one direction. So you observe that you have one little point there and then... That end is fixed, and then we're just extending in one particular direction. Next is a line segment. A line segment is just a portion of a line, and it has two endpoints. As we can see with this diagram right here, the two endpoints are A and B. And that's it. The next definition is angles. Angles is the amount of turn from one line segment to another. In other words, it is a space between two line segments. So this diagram right here, as you can see the space in between the two line segments, and we'll put a little sign called theta that represents the angle, the degree of turn from one line segment to the other. Now, there are some laws that we must know now. These are the laws that are gonna help us to find missing angles. So this is an important topic in geometry. And the first law is known as the vertically opposite angles. So these are angles opposite to each other. So when two straight lines intersect, vertically opposite angles are equal. So look at this diagram right here. We see the line SR and the line AB. There are two lines and they intersect at a point. 
Then we see that angle X is equal to angle Y. Angle alpha is equal to angle beta by vertically opposite angles. Look at this diagram right here and find the value of angle 2 in the diagram. What would be angle 2? You are absolutely right. If you said it is 154, you're right. Because CD and XY, those are two lines that are intersecting. And so by vertically opposite angles, angle 2 will be 154 degrees. Now, the next law that we must know is that angles on a straight line sum to 180 degrees. And we call this supplementary angles. So in this case, we notice that the X plus alpha is 180. That would be two angles on the straight line. And below the straight line AB, we see beta plus y equal 180 degrees so if we go back to the picture here we found angle 2 what's going to be the value of angle 1 and the value of angle 3 now we realize that xy is a straight line and hence angle 1 plus 154 is 180 so if we transpose it angle 1 is equal to 26 degrees once we get angle 1 to be 26 degrees we know that angle 3 is going to be equal to angle 1 by vertically opposite angles. Or you can also look at it as there's another straight line CD. And so now we get angle 1 and angle 3 is 26 degrees. The next law that we need to know is alternate angles. Now alternate angles, these are angles that are in opposite positions relative to a transversal intersecting two lines and the alternate angles are said to be equal a lot of persons tend to call these alternate angles z angles all right so you might hear the common phrase z angles so notice the picture right here that pops on the screen you notice that we have two parallel lines we have a transversal line and then once you draw your z with the parallel line and the transversal line, you draw your Z, you notice angle A equal angle B, and also angle C is equal to angle D. Nice. So, in this case, now we need to find angle 4 and angle 7. Now, to find angle 4 and angle 7, we realize that if we draw our Z, we're going to get that angle 3 is equal to angle 4, which is 26 degrees. And if we draw our Z again, angle 2, is going to be equal to angle 5 which is 154 now once you get angle 4 and angle 5 we're fine now we're able to find angle 6 and angle 7 because angle 6 angles on a straight line sum to 180 so 180 minus 26 is 154 and then we're able to find angle 7 we're able to find angle 7 now because angles on a straight line again sum to 180 so 154 plus 7 would be 180 or we might say that vertically opposite angles are equal and so angle 7 equal angle 4 and you still get 26 degrees. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, now the next law that we need to look at is known as co-interior angles. These are on the same side of the transversal and are both on the inside of the parallel lines. Co-interior angles are supplementary, meaning that they add up to 180 degrees. So on the transversal line, in this case we draw it in yellow with the two parallel lines. Notice that in black, the angle A and the angle B, when you add them, that's 180 because those are co-interior angles. And on the other side of the line, x and y in red when we add those we still get 180 all right that's because of co-interior angles so if we go back to this question right here or go back to this picture we notice angle 2 plus angle 4 is 180 because of co-interior angles and angle 3 plus angle 5 is also 180 because of co-interior angles all right now i want you to observe this also Notice that if we were to put a point where the line CD and XY intersect, notice angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 sum to 360. 
Notice also that angle 4 to angle 7 sum to 360. Now, this is where the next law comes into play. This is telling us that the angles around a point adds up to 360 degrees. So we're going to need to use this law to calculate missing angles. So look at this picture right here. We see that we have a question mark 25, 90 degrees, 105 degrees, and we need to find that missing angle. To find that missing angle, so question mark plus 25 plus 90 plus 105 is equal to 360 degrees. So if we add up those numbers, we get question mark plus 220 is 360 degrees. And we transpose, we get question mark is 140 degrees. Nice. Finally, there's one more law that we need to remember that relates to angles on pretty much lines, which is known as corresponding angles. The best way to, do, to remember it is just look at this image right here. Angles form when a transversal line cuts across two straight lines are known as corresponding angles. So we, we try to color code it. So look at D and H. Those two angles will be equal. B and F, those are equal. A and E, those are equal. C and G, those are equal. All right. So we try to color code it. And so it makes it a little easier for us to look at it and see it. those are corresponding angles. So if we go back to the picture of the question we were doing, we notice angle 1 is the same as angle 4, angle 2 is the same as angle 6, angle 3 is the same as angle 7, and angle 5 is 154 degrees. That's because of corresponding angles. Beautiful. So let's look at an example now. We're going to do some exam style questions here. So example 1. It says the shape ABCD below is a trapezium. Given the diagram above, what is the value of P and Q? Give a reason for your answer. So pause and attempt this one. So as you pause and attempt right here, we notice that if you were to look at it, we realize that BC and AD, those are parallel lines. And so we can, of course, construct our Z angles. So angle P is 23 degrees by alternate angle. And then what do we know? We know angles on a straight line sum to 180. So 23 plus 102 plus Q is 180. So if we transpose for Q, Q is 180 minus 125, which is 55. So Q is 55 degrees. Easy. Now let's have a look at example two. Pause and attempt. So given the diagram below, what is the value of X? So as you pause and attempt, we should realize that's a straight line. And so angles on a straight lines are supplementary. So 36 plus 5X plus X is 180. 5X and X is 6X. So 36 plus 6X is 180. So 6X is 180 minus 36, which simplifies to be 144. And then we divide both sides by 6. And so X is equal to 24 degrees. Very simple. Nice. All right, let's, let's step up the question level a notch here. So in the diagram below, it's not drawn to scale. It tells us that BG is parallel to DE. AF and CH are straight lines. Calculate the values of X and Y showing clearly the steps in your calculation. So pause this and attempt. <laughs> Now, as you pause and attempt, the first thing we should look at is co-interior angles. Yes. So let's draw it right there so we can see it. So that means 30 plus 2x is equal to 180 because we know that co-interior angles are supplementary. Transposing, we get 2x is 180 minus 30 degrees, which is 150. We divide both sides by 2, so x is 75. Now, once we get x to be 75 degrees, we know that Y is also 75 because corresponding angles are equal. Sweet. Ah. So realize how easy. All right, let's try to step it up a little bit higher. In the diagram below is not drawn to scale. AB is parallel to CD and EG is parallel to FH. Angle IJL is 50 degrees and angle KIG is 95 degrees. Calculate the values of X, Y, and Z showing clearly the steps in your calculation. 
so pause this one and attempt let's construct a triangle right here b i j triangle b i j now we realize that we have a 95 degrees 50 degrees and let's just call that angle q and we know it adds to 180 so transposing that will give us q equal to 35 ah. all right so let's replace q with 35 degrees now we can construct a z now because a b is parallel to c d and so we know by z angles or as we would say alternate angles that means y is 35 degrees nice all right now once we get y to be 35 degrees all right now we know that 95 plus z is equal to 180 why is 95 plus z equal 180 look at it for we'll put on those little lines around it we can see the co-interior angles law will take place hey! so 95 plus z is 180 and so z when we transpose it z is 85 degrees cool now we get z so all we need to do is find x now but guess what if we put on our z right there we say alternate angles so once we get z we know x is 85 degrees as well so putting on all three angles we see z is 85 x is 85 and also y right there is 35 degrees all right and so that's it for today so stay tuned for more see you next time as we continue more videos on geometry and we'll continue with many more csec topics i hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to have a blessed day